So I'm here at Manchester Central and it's the venue for the Children's Global Media Summit 2017. It was a really exciting time for the city, not only to discuss the new media context for children, it's also great to showcase what Manchester is all about in terms of media production. Manchester, this is the place. I've just had the privilege of opening the event with my poem, This Is The Place, which people may know, uh, summing up the spirit uh, and the, the innovators here in Manchester. Uh, to be able to uh, convene people who are making children's programming from around the world, uh, to come here to Salford, to Manchester, um, because of the strengths we've got in Salford and Manchester, um, to kind of really build on that, I think it's just great. And if you look at the people who are in the, uh, you know, in the auditorium now, they, they represent all sorts of different companies. It's a real global uh, conference and I think that's great for Manchester, it's great for children's, children's broadcasting. I think the Children's Global Media Summit was such an attractive place to come and speak because it's a bunch of people who are affecting the media of the future, who really care about the future of things like play, like we did in our session, or the future of media, and how, especially with a focus on young people, the thinking needs to be to address the way that young people now are consuming media. I mean, a lot of policymakers are concerned about the safety of young people online, as are we, uh, and therefore this is a good opportunity in uh, a different kind of setting than I often speak in, to talk about how we think about safety online, what we're doing, including the launch of our new uh, app called Messenger Kids, uh, which we announced earlier this week. I really enjoyed the panel discussion today because I, I enjoy when there's a, a difference in opinion and I think that's one of the most important ways you form your own opinion is you hear from different sources that have different perspectives and different takes on the same issue. And so I think the consumer, the, you know, the people consuming the content, the kids, really are going to dictate what, what happens next and where it goes. I see a lot of YouTubers as leaders um, because they, they do have their own platform, they do have a responsibility with their audience and, and the rules and, that I live by is that, you know, I need to educate them the best I can. And we've had a fantastic array of speakers, over 130 from 36 different countries. The delegates have come from even further afield. And what's been really brilliant is bringing them all here for three days to really debate, discuss, and some of the debates have been quite heated. Uh, what's the right future for children's media and the interplay between technology, the internet, um, creativity, empathy, all of those things. And what's been so lovely to see is uh, not just the, the kind of energy in the room here, but seeing people out across Manchester at different venues in the evenings and you know opening the eyes of so many people from different countries who've never been here before, who are like, wow, Manchester? Who knew? In many ways, we're the right place for this debate to be happening. Manchester has always kind of married uh, industrial innovation with social innovation and um, brought those two things together so there could be no better place for this conference to be taking place.